What's up guys, it's out from Vapor Nation, bringing you guys yet another douche review. This will be my second review with this company. Um, I've, I've never done a part two to any juice company. So that goes to show how how, um, how willing they are to, you know, have people review and give their honest opinion about their juices. And I really appreciate that very much. This is Bad Kool-Aid Review number two. <laughs> sent me um, four or five milliliter bottles, which is really cool. I appreciate that so much. They sent me four um, flavors that they weren't able to get to me the first time, which is really sweet. Um, I guess I'll just jump right into this. Um, first off, these bottles are really cool. They're nice and they're black. They have a nice um, born date on it. Pretty, pretty nice for a five milliliter bottle. Most people kind of just they throw them in a little bottle and they send them. So it's really cool that they go out of their way to do this. So the first one out of four I'll start reviewing with will be Bad Kool-Aid's, I don't know if you can see this, Squirrel Swirl. Um, um, my friend Wendy, that's the person I've been talking to when it comes to sending me these juices. She gave me a flavor description of, I, b I believe all of these, I just can't remember at the at the moment. They're all in my email. But um, I guess I'll just skip that part and I'll tell you what I'm getting from this because really that's what it comes down to. You know, it comes to the the customer and the reviewer's experience with the juice. So I'm gonna give my honest opinion and, and tell you what I think about these juices. So this is the squirrel swirl. It's not bad. Very nice caramel flavor. It's a little nutty. It has little notes of like uh, some kind of some kind of nut. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, like a hazelnut kind of coffee creamer. That's what I'm getting from this. Very, very nice. Um, I'm not sure if I would vape this all day, just because it's kind of really sweet, um, which I like, don't get me wrong. But it's not something I would be dripping on all day. It's kind of one of those things where, like, maybe for after dinner when I'm just trying to relax or when I wake up and I have some coffee, I will go ahead and vape some of this stuff. Favorite production is very nice. Again, all these bad Kool-Aid juices, they always, they always just surprise me. They're just so unbelievable, most of these juices. So, that was a squirrel swirl. Let me move on. The next one I'll do will be Schnickelbon. I believe that's how you say that. I believe this is supposed to be a um, snickerdoodle cookie. And, uh... I've had some pretty bad experiences with snickerdoodle juices, so I hope this one's really good. I just cracked these open, so I have no clue what I'm expecting from this. The last um, snickerdoodle cookie juice that I had was... just wasn't right. So hopefully this one's a little better. I'm trusting you. Bad Kool-Aid. Damn it. Just kidding. Oh, that really, that really smells like when you, um, I don't really, I don't, I've never made a, I've never actually made a snickerdoodle cookie, but I have bought them before, and right when you open that package of the cookies, that's what I get from it, just really cinnamony, kind of like a cookie dough kind of smell. <clears throat> it's a schnickelbond. It's a lot better than the the last snickerdoodle I had. This is actually really nice. Tastes almost like exactly what a snickerdoodle cookie would taste like.
It's nice and sweet. Nice and cinnamony. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to use it. Very nice. Again, not something I'd, I wouldn't personally vape all day. But it's very nice just to kind of vape here and there. Vapor production is nice. This battery is almost dead. So, um, the vapor production on it right now is very good. And that was the Schnickel Bomb. The next one I'll do will be Cherry Bubblicious Soda. <coughs> <coughs> if you guys watched my last Bad Kool Aid video, they sent me Grape Bubblicious Soda, which was really good. Really good stuff. And this color is pretty crazy. It's a very red, cherry looking juice. And they always have pretty crazy colors on their juices. It's pretty cool. It smells like cherry soda. Very good. On the inhale. Very nice, subtle um, cherry soda kind of flavor. On the exhale, you kind of get a little, little bit of bubble gum. Just a little, not super noticeable. I definitely wouldn't mind vaping this all day. No problem. Vapor's good. All these juices are bad Kool-Aid. I really good vapor. Very, very nice. That was the Cherry Bubblicious. The last one I'll do is their Cool Cane. I believe this is like a candy cane, you know, taste, flavor. I've had um, quite a few of flavors that are candy cane based, which are pretty good, so. I'm not, I'm not expecting this to be bad. <coughs> the smell I'm getting off of this when I was burning it was almost like a, um, like a candy cane, like a peppermint kind of smell. This is cool cane. Exactly, exactly like a candy cane. Very refreshing. It's almost like when you, um, if you guys ever had the, the red Altoids, the peppermint ones, it's kind of like biting into one of those. It really clears the nostrils. Very good menthol um, juice for all you menthol lovers out there. Very, very nice. I'm not usually one to vape menthols all day, but this would be one I wouldn't mind vaping all day. Very, very good. No complaints about any of these, other than some of them I wouldn't vape all day. But that's just me. My opinions are subjective to my taste buds. You guys might think otherwise. You guys might really like the Snickerdoodle and want to vape that all day. Again, these are my honest opinions. All these juices, very, very nice. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram account below. Make sure you hit them up, get some of their juices. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, vape on.